you know, taking care of our bodies is important, but making sure we have a healthy idea about our bodies can be just as crucial. Dr. Jeannie Sykes joining us again this morning. She is a registered dietitian at Cone Health Family Medicine Center and a member of the Cone Health Medical Group. Good morning. Morning. You know, we, we've been talking throughout the week about healthy ideas and healthy images and things like that. And, and a lot of times we focus on teenagers, but for adults, we also need that same, that same kind of healthy look at ourselves, right? Oh, sure. And when we see eating disorders and distorted body images, a lot of times, particularly, let's say, anorexia, nervosa, mm -hmm. you're going to see that onset in adolescence, but this is, an eat all eating disorders can certainly persist into adulthood and well into old age. One of the issues, of course, is if the eating disorder is anorexia nervosa, a lot of people don't make it to old age. Mm -hmm. It is, it has the highest mortality of any mental health disorder. It is tremendously damaging to the body to just, sure. just is, is the body's almost starving itself. You can't right? continue to um, deny what the body needs and expect it to still function. Are we accustomed to looking <laughs> for it in an adult, though? I, it seems like a lot of people would say, well, they're just working out. They're just, you got 50,000 excuses instead of saying there really seems to be a problem. Right, I think that it is often overlooked in that sense. Mm -hmm. And um, when you have an eating disorder like anorexia, obviously it's more apparent when you have a very, very low body weight. But mm -hmm. with binge eating disorder and bulimia nervosa, those are a little bit easier to hide because you don't necessarily have that extremely emaciated look. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you see somebody and you think there might be a problem, is talking to them about it the best first step? Because a lot of times people aren't going to recognize that and they're going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that gets tricky. Yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of times. And you, you don't want to drive a wedge between you and this person. No, you don't want to alienate them. Yeah. Um, and then they're, they're more likely to start hiding behaviors from mm -hmm. you as that friend or family member. Right, so that's not going to get you there, and you usually have to wait until they're ready. Really? You know? And when they start realizing how much their dysfunctional behavior is kind of ruling their lives, then that may be when they seek help themselves. And, and you have to be a friend, I guess, as is, is someone told me, one, you have to be a different kind of friend. I'm used yes. to going out and having coffee with you and things like that, but all of a sudden I'm going to be a friend to you when, when, when chips are down, and I've got to do difficult things to help you, and that's... That's a different kind of friend sometimes. Right, absolutely. And yeah. talking people through um, better self-care. Sure. Um, and, and what I'll, I think a lot of people don't realize, um, you know, we talk about body distortion um, sometimes, body image distortion, we call that also body dysmorphia. Mm -hmm. And there's a difference between that and body dissatisfaction. Now, if you want okay. to talk about body dissatisfaction, prevalence of that is extremely high in the general every, population. Every, everybody would feel that. You right. know, oh, I wish I looked more like this. This this is a whole different degree. Well, it doesn't, in everyone, it doesn't get to a level that's pathological or that really affects them detrimentally. Sure. So um, we want to help people accept this is the body I was born with. It does a lot of good things for me. Yeah. And, of course, we have all these ideals, beauty ideals of thinness that are promoted across all types of media. And now with digital um, modifying of all the images that are out there, whether it's print or something on the internet or in film and movies, um, it's an ideal that is not just unattainable by the average person, but it's actually not real even among the supermodels. Well, thanks for talking about it this week. It's been very educational. You can find more information on a healthy diet and nutrition by going to conehealth.com slash healthy eating or for more lifestyle tools and resources and classes, check out uh, conehealth.com slash wellness dash matters. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.